Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be continuing my conversation with Sissy Wellman, who played Sissy on the Waltons, who was married to Yancey Tucker. Now, you you are make, you have referenced uh, Robert Bob Donner a number of times, and I have talked to our fans about the fact that when you were playing Sissy, you and Bob were actually married. Yes. Um, how did so? Did you have the opportunity to audition for that because of Bob, or did that was just a coincidence? No, Earl loved, of course. You know, Earl Hamner loved Bobby Donner. Loved you. We all did. Yes. Yeah. How can you not? Yeah. He was the love of my life. That's mm-hmm. rigorous honesty, and um, and he came to me and uh, Earl and said. Uh, you want to visit your husband in jail? That was Jane Aspen. <laughs> uh, and I said, oh, I love that. Because he knew my work. He knew my work from previous. So I said, sure, I'd love to do that. You know, so that was Jane Aspen a bit. And that and was then, in the episode, The Chicken Thief, which I have, I've talked about. And I remember when I, when I was covering it and I'm watching the episode and I'm like, that's sissy. <laughs> and that's, but that's not... Sissy. The character Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten that you had done a different episode as a different character. Okay. Yeah. So you so you played Jane, you got to visit him in jail. <laughs> yes. And then I think it was like the next season. Or so uh Earl came to me and he said, How would you like to come and play with us? You know, recurring opposite Yancey. And both Bobby and I looked at each other and went, Okay. That'll be fun. Obviously, he wrote it for me. I mean, Sissy Walker playing, you know, Sissy Wellman playing Sissy Walker. He just changed the spelling of Sissy to S-I-S-S-Y. But no, he did did that for me, you know, to just be included, you know, to do that with him. And I can't tell you how much fun I had. It was one, I still say it's one of the best shows, you know, I could ever think of being on because all of you, you know, you were, you are a family and it was the best what fun you know it was just everybody cared about each other there was such wonderful just it was just the most wonderful show to be a part of i mean i every you know when i get a guest star on it when i would do that and be there for a week i mean there were so many wonderful things you know, people that I met and stayed with and, you know, like the family, they, you know, even though Donner died and we separated and uh, I was always still included because Donner and I were always close. We always stayed close. We were best friends because we were together over 15 years before that, you know. Yeah. I was surprised that you were only in five episodes because I had this sense of you being around a lot so you came in you were on set at times when you weren't working as well so sure i would have thought you had you know done six seasons with us (laughs) it just felt like that because i feel like you were one of the recurring characters that stands out to me as as Ah. so it's always surprising to see somebody wasn't really around filming with us all the time right it just sort of merges the on the on camera and the off camera time that we spend with people well that was donner's and my relationship we we i was with him always we were together 24 7 Mm. and when he went on location i was with him um you know it was that was that was our relationship and so when he was shooting in town I'd come so we could have lunch so I could hear what's going on. So, you know, so during a show that he'd be shooting before I was on it, then, you know, we'd hang and it was great. Yeah. Well, I will let you cause tell the, um, the fans cause you knew him so much better. The character of Yancey relative to Bob in real life. Uh, people are always interested in how much we are like our characters or in what ways we are different. Um, I know he had a wonderful sense of humor in real life, but how would you say those two, he and that character were similar or different? 
Well, I think the gift that Donna brought to Yancey is, was his sense of humor. I mean, was his comedic gift because he did stand up. He did, you know, Mork and Mindy, you know, yeah. for the seasons. I mean, we did stand up together. We started the Harvey Lumbeck comedy workshop wow. and we would do, I would do stand up with him and play straight to him, which was <laughs> really interesting because <laughs> <laughs> I never knew where he went, where he was going and he would do all the different accents and stuff. And he was the easiest I think the gift, he was one of the easiest people to be around, period. He was caring, loving, dry sense of humor. He was more of an introverted extrovert. Hmm. And, um, but how was he more of a, Yancey, I think, how am I going to explain it? Um, the guy, get the kid that gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. That I found that to me was a lot of Yancey and dear Donna, it was this sense of humor. A lot of it was not, I mean, the whole thing with the sleeping with the chickens, they like that, that could have been Donna so easy because mm -hmm. I was a major animal freak and he just went another one, you know, and yet would bring it. <laughs> but he was similar. He was similar to Yancey in the best of ways. Mm -hmm. But he was, he Nancy wasn't real bright. And, and Donna was very bright. And, yeah. Very bright. That's that's a good point, too. But no, Nancy wasn't bright at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was he was a giver, you know, yeah. it, with the stealing the things. He was a giver. So was Donna. But Donna was very bright. An avid reader, major reader, love books. That would be, we, we guessed it on the newlywed game when it first came on, when they had the celebrities. And we won it. And one of the questions they asked, which we didn't answer right, of course, was to me, what your husband's idea of ecstasy is a bathtub filled with. And I said, books. And he went, vodka. <laughs> and I went, oops. <laughs> you know. And we won it by one question. He said, what is the one thing you, you know, what is the one thing that your wife cannot resist? And I said, keeping my mouth shut. He went, her mouth shut. <laughs> he went talking, you know, so we ended up winning the game. But he was he was bright. He was funny. And a lot of that was, you know, no, Yancey wasn't bright, but Yancey was a hoot. Yancey, but Yancey would get people into trouble. That was not Donner. You know, ah. there were, you know, I think mainly it's the sense of humor that he brought to the character. Yeah, I, I know. Eric Scott, who played Ben, loved those storylines that he had with with Yancey. He was the one that really had the most opportunity to interact and do those scenes right. uh, and get Yancey would lead him astray and get him into trouble. And, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. in the most sort of innocent way, it was not it was not malicious. It was nope. even in the chicken thief. It was not right. He was he was playing Robin Hood. Yes, he was and helping. In return, they all more than gave back. <laughs> it was true. And he loved David also. Because uh, David would sit, he David was quiet. Mm -hmm. You know. And so he would go over and sit and talk with David. Uh, he was a he was that kind of guy that on the set, you know, he would he would notice how people are and he would he would Mm. Go over there and be with them. I mean, mm. he had the biggest heart. Mm. You know, that's that's a big one. Yeah. I, I, I don't remember him coming over and sitting and talking to me, so he must have had a <laughs> perspective on me. <laughs> I probably had my uh, I'm deep in thought look. <laughs> People said that I, I must have cultivated it at some point. Uh, if I... Sometimes I was literally just blanking out, but I would, people said I would get this very intense look on my face. Like I didn't want to be disturbed. And I think sometimes I was literally just blank, but uh, people would sometimes feel like that wasn't a time to approach me. Oh, I don't know. I never felt you. Well, you know, you kids sort of, a lot of it scared me because I was mainly with Elizabeth. 
Mm. You know, she was she was the one that was our lawyer. And, and being just with Yancey, I was either that or with the family, you know, going to find out where Yancey was, if we're getting engaged and, yeah. you know, working that. And I only worked with, with Richard the last season. Mm. And we had that scene that got cut out that I've never laughed so hard. I mean, I just... I don't know if you yeah. remember it. It was it. Oh God, which it was the show also that Mer, uh, Merrill Merrill country singer. God, oh Sissy. Merle Haggard. Merle Haggard. Okay, was uh, did the other one, and okay. and okay. um, okay. and it was the one where I was trying to make Yancey jealous. Ah, okay. And and so I was playing up to Richard, flirting with Richard to make okay. Yancey jealous and, you know, just, and making him scarves and things. And, and, and then one time we had a scene in the car, which was on the set and it's where I was driving Richard. And I was telling him that the scene was my, my, how does a young man like you find time to do all he does? Mm-hmm. I mean, how do you get, a, how do you have a girlfriend? I mean, with all that you do and, you know, it's, it's flirty. It's, you know, it's like, oh, my, my. And we did the rehearsal and Harvey Lehman was directing, I believe was, yes, was Harvey. And he said, sis, you know, it's the thing while well, you're, you got to shift, you know, because it was one of those cars. <laughs> you, you can't have it. And I said to him, I said, if my hand leaves frame, they're going to think I'm grabbing for his, <laughs> you know, and everybody laughed. Well, the next couple of scenes, every time I do leave to go, to the, Richard would go, whoop. <laughs> That's Richard. <laughs> and I would go, so, and that was like the three takes, and I would crack. So, you know, and enough not being in, but boy, yeah, thank Richard was great. You know what a love bug. Yeah, you guys all, all of you are so good. Mm-hmm. You know, and if the Waltons have the seen Richard in To Kill a Mockingbird, well, or heard you sing, mm-hmm. oh, guys, this lady has a voice. Thank you. I mean it. You knock me out. You you know, if you're anywhere, and I mean that, I would be there in a heartbeat. I love, you know, you you and Linda Pearl mm. are my two mm. ladies that I run to see. You guys yeah, knock me perfect. out. Yeah. So are you. Well, thank you. I I, no. I really I always appreciate the the support. And you have you have been that way with all of us. And we've had parties at your house and you have shown up for uh, different things that we've done, family sort of events, Walton events. And yeah. So you just you've always felt like part of the family. So that's been well, I'm Mrs. Yancey Tucker. Yeah. (laughs) So I am. Yeah. 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 You've I mean you've had quite an extensive career above and beyond the Waltons. Um, and you still, you're still acting and, and, and doing all sorts of things. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing, what you've been doing since however much since Waltons has been a long time. And then also uh, if you tell them a little bit about your, your work with the born to act born to act players. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I was just with them Sunday. Um, well, first off, uh, you know, during the COVID, I wrote my book and which was fun to do. Which is and available I, on Amazon, everybody. It's called, they, they say, say I, I come from Hollywood royalty. So where's my crown? <laughs> and I talk a lot about the Waltons and my born to act players ah. and their ages, uh, probably now about 20 to about 45, 50, and they're with Down syndrome, autism, and special abilities. They're very high functioning and they are fabulous. Uh, they they sing, they dance, they act, they do. They had an improv show Sunday. Oh, really? Saturday, just this last Saturday okay. that I went to. I haven't been with them for the last three years due to COVID and I had shoulder surgery and, it, and it's hard being with these loving special kids, I call them because they are at my age, anybody (laughs) under the age of 50 is a kid, Um, you know, and they're so loving and hugging and special and real. If the world were more like them, what a wonderful place it would be because they're honest 
they're real, they show their emotions, they get angry, but don't hold a resentment. What a concept. They're just fabulous. And uh, they I was with them active for uh, going on going on over 12 years, going on 13 years. And um, they they're they're just they're just the best. And they're 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 professional actors a lot. You know, they're really they're just special. And they were fabulous Sunday. Mm. I mean, Saturday, I think Sunday, but it yeah. was Saturday. And um, I've been blessed that I'm still working. You know, I just did a pilot for Darren Serafian, and it's in post-production. Darren was the director, producer on the series House with Hugh Laurie. The first five seasons, he wrote and he directed and exec produced it. And I'm going to do a movie with him that he's written called Vincent, which I'm looking forward to. And I just did a movie playing David Schwimmer's mother for Darren Aronofsky. And uh, they're in post-production with that. So they want this old lady. <laughs> well, I have to say, you 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 mentioned a couple times being 80, and there is no way you even remotely look your age. Thank you. I mean, It's you not just... that I don't look it. It's that I don't act it. Well, yeah. But... I think it's the energy. Yeah. Today's. 80 is today's 80. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. <laughs> you're absolutely right that it's how old you feel and how old you act. And I think how old you act and your exuberance for life keeps you young. And you're absolutely always doing things and the positive outlook. And they talk, I've heard any number of times people talking about the therapeutic value of laughter and, and yes. So all of that, I think, keeps us, keeps us young. So I agree. You are, you are a poster child for that. <laughs> a poster old lady for that. No, and, uh, yeah. I really, really, really want to thank you for coming oh, and you. spending this time with, with me and answering some questions and letting everybody get to know you away from the character that they, that they love and, and what an, a wonderful, gracious woman you are in real life oh, is to see that that I know and love and they now will know a bit more and love even more. <laughs> oh, thank you, honey. Thank you again to Sissy for joining me and sharing about her time on the Waltons and more about her life. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.